All right. So, uh, it's been one whole year. Haven't posted for an entire year. Uh, do apologize for the um, delay, but people are busy out here. So. Yeah, very. You know what I mean? So uh, we do what we can to post every now and then. But new episode, as you can see. Um, try to make this a quick one, somewhat. But um, do want to touch on a few um, questions um, in regards of the brick and motor of the Sami Music, which is a school. I'm sorry. School, right? It's a music studio, music academy, if you will call it. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a music school because it's not music school mm -hmm. i mean we offer lessons for different instruments but it's not a school cool um located mm -hmm. we give the address and everything the uh the address is 11312 wiles road we're in coral springs if you're familiar with coral springs we are in the area where costco is kind of like on the west side of the city i would say uh if between Coral Ridge and Coral Springs. So if you if you know where Costco is, you'll know we're in that area. Cool. Oh, well, so, so like I said before, um, I have a post for about a year. Uh, so this is a, I want to say it's a follow-up, but uh, second episode, basically, second podcast. I want to even call it a podcast, just a video, basically. And I'm um, just giving you some updates on what's been going on with d Simon Music in terms of, you know, how... The operation has been going for a whole year now, I want to say. Somewhat a whole year, brick motor. We have been in business for a year and a half. I'm sorry, year, July. Time flies. <laughs> year and a half. So, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk more about that, the operation for a year and a half. How's it been? Ups and downs. Uh, we'll talk about, of course, the future of the Simon Music. What to expect. We won't, get, we won't give too much detail, obviously, but... So I want to kind of keep you up to date on the future of um, the um, business and we kind of go from there. So I guess first question, first question for the young entrepreneur here is... Not quite that young. Hmm? Not quite that young. I think she's young, so whatever. But first question would be, um, how has business been for a year and a half? Ups and downs? Business is business. I think it's been great. I'm not complaining. Um, I mean, as anything in life, you will have ups and downs. But business is business. I think we have been doing great considering we've been only open at the location for a year and a half. We were open before as a mobile studio. Um, but since we transitioned to a place, it's officially a year and a half. So I would say it's going, I mean, it's going great. We're very happy with where we are. We're very happy with the community we cater to, mm -hmm. the people, the children we work with. Um, we're very happy with who we have on the team as far as like internal, um, such as like people that handle our accounting, our finances, banking, all of the nitty and greedy that a lot of people don't see. And then we're very happy with the staff that we have as far as our instructors go. Um, so I'm not complaining. I'm actually very, I feel very grateful and very blessed to have the chance to share something like this with the community and kind of Share the love of music I've had since I was four years old all the way to now. I'm an almost 35 year old woman. So for like to share with the world what I've been gathering and all the knowledge I've been gathering for the past, I would say 30 mm -hmm. years. Cause you, I mean, I was a child once, so I used to take lessons and be educated about music from, um, other people, other musicians who are now much older than me, but, um, basically gathering the information for. 30 years and finally sharing it so yeah i feel i think we're in a great standing i think considering we're a very small business i think we're doing pretty good cool I mean, so more pros and cons oh yeah i don't think there is any cons i mean i wouldn't say any but there is cons as far <laughs> as how sometimes it can be very overwhelming sometimes mm -hmm. it can be stressful and sometimes right. it can be like worrisome for certain things but 
I think that comes with anything, even if you had a job and work for somebody or uh, whatever the reason might be, you will always have something to worry about. Do you like your neighbors? <laughs> yes, actually I do. The neighbors that are right next to me, I do like them. Oh, There's yeah. nothing wrong with the, them. Well, we like y'all. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's there is nothing wrong with those neighbors, but we've had some issues with other things, which has not now been solved. So I don't even want to like. Oh, yeah, not, not not so much details, of course. But um, would you say the the cost of living and you know inflation and all that? You think that kind of you know cause any I won't say friction, but made things a little difficult because. Cost of living is going up, so gas prices or like the cost of supplies, BJ's, you know, like your paper towels and all that. No, I mean, that's very minimal to us. Like we're not a, a corporation with a hundred employees yeah. who need to replace paper towels <laughs> every week or every day or... They're, they're expensive too. So <clears throat> paper towels. But... Uh, K-cups. <laughs> I mean, we don't, as a, I wouldn't say inflation. I don't think it has affected us like nah. that because we don't provide services like that. Mm -hmm. um, our prices have not changed since mm -hmm. we have opened. Um, we have implemented some changes, but pricing as far as like the lessons and stuff, we have not. Raised prices. We have not raised prices. Yeah, good. So... Um, it yeah. doesn't mean it's not going to happen in the future. I don't know where the economy is going to go and how things will be. But um, for right now, I mean, we have no complaints. We're not complaining. And I don't think the customers are either. So. Right. Good. So more pros and cons of running a business for a year and a half. That's, that's pretty darn good. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm very, yeah. I'm, I think, I'm, I mean, I'm very satisfied with so far how we're doing. You know? You know, God willing, everything stays the same or even better. And, you know, you want your business to thrive and to be better and to, you know, just grow and stuff. So you, you never know. Good, good, yeah. good. Um, are you so, I would say scared of being a business owner? Because you, you, you used to be kind of not scared, but just mm. iffy. Like this is my first time running a business as a brick and motor. All this, re all this responsibility on me. You still are you? Are, I guess I'm asking. Are you? Are you more comfortable? I wouldn't call. I don't think I was. I think scared is the wrong word to use. I don't think I was ever scared. I would say I was more nervous. Nervous. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, one thing, I'm very confident with what I have to offer and mm. my knowledge and everything like that. So that was never my doubt. My scare was, or my, I was n nervous in a sense about how am I going to handle all of this by myself with, I mean, I have a master's degree in business administration, but, uh, in music business administration, I would specify. Um, so I have some kind of understanding on how the music business works and stuff, but not really how the the business works as much. But due to experience and reading and watching videos and kind of educating myself more on it and kind of going with the flow, I think mm -hmm. the flow, yeah. too many people kind of be like are scared to jump and be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go for this. They, they kind of like prolong things because, oh, I need to do this and I need to learn this and I need to figure out how to do this before I do that. Um, if you're confident in yourself, I think that should be your first kind of, um, kind of a, a step. Be like, hey, I'm going to go with this and then along the way you're going to figure stuff out. I mean, I'm not just saying jump ship just because like you, you feel a certain way about yourself and I you invest you. everything without like doing any research, but of course, of course, yeah. don't, don't find any single excuse of not knowing to not do. Um, oh, I think a lot of people kind of are nervous about that. So back to your question about was I nervous? Right. I mean, maybe we're human. So I was nervous. I was very nervous in the sense of, oh my God, where is this going to go? Is this going to be yeah. something that 
will stick around for a while yeah, or is yeah. this something that's going to be one of those businesses that just starts and then just kind of sinks um yeah it, it was a little nerve-wracking but i was i was i kind of had faith that based on what i have to offer uh people will kind of understand them and kind of see the quality and kind of naturally come towards it more so confidence so, yeah, I think confidence and like trusting and believing in yourself and understanding what you're doing and really understanding the core of what you're getting into. And also, I would say this goes more for the fellow musicians. Um, you cannot just be a musician. Like when you are opening like a business, you cannot just be like, hey, I'm a musician. I did this. I'm playing this. And now I'm going to go and do this. Um, you you have to kind of have two different personalities like you have to be the business owner and handle mm -hmm. anything behind what you're doing and nobody really knows anything that goes behind because nobody actually has to do it besides me that. and some other people um, I'm glad you said that the front row people always see me and the other instructors doing that but a lot of people think like they'll get out of college and think i can do this and i can open this and i can do that we just the music background with them which it's, it's doable i'm not saying it's not but a lot of people are not understanding that when i become a business owner or whatever i do there is so many more responsibilities that come with it of course that to some people might not be familiar uh, and that's where I believe a lot of issues might occur. So you're saying musicians today should wear multiple hats, basically? I mean, if... In today's climate, I'm, I'm asking. So, like, I'm, I'm guessing being a musician is not enough in terms of, you know, I guess your finances and whatnot. You know, it's just a different job market and, and, and just a different time. So you think, I guess, having an entrepreneur entrepreneurial mindset is important for not everybody but to kind of have that I guess skill somewhat to thrive in today's market I mean I think most musicians already have the entrepreneurial mind entrepreneurial mindset. because most musicians I would speak from the classical end of the um, spectrum they most of us gig around and that's Entrepreneurial. Yeah, I mean, everybody works with different businesses yeah. and different places, different orchestra, different bars, whatever the um, place might be. Um, so mm -hmm. that, like, kind of you get yourself in it, you kind of, like, showcase what you know, you kind of understand right. the, the show business and you go and do it. So I think most musicians do have um, a very good sense of how it works. Yeah, I got you. It's just a lot of musicians don't have the sense of let me open a place that has to be approved by this department of the city and this department of the city and this department and i have to get this license and this license and this license like i didn't know right. but i had to learn myself that just, i have to do these things right just go to um, correct but i find myself to be very um funny because I was just speaking to our realtor and she said the same thing she was like I feel like you you do so much re research mm -hmm. and figure so many things out before you jump into something and I feel just because I'm that type of an individual it kind of helped me when I opened the business because I did so much research with with the city with the groups of people and what do yeah. i need and what do i don't need and all of this all of this kind of stuff so so you're responsible basically uh, i mean it's, i don't think res i mean i'm very i consider myself very responsible but i don't think responsibility is the key to that i mean but you, you did, can you be did. responsible but be clueless to how to do things yeah, but you did, you've done the research to figure out what needs to be done, so that's kind of not... Yeah. Uh, it's, it, is, it is a risk, but you're still not just gambling by just, okay, let me just try with that, you know, kind of doing some kind of re research. So it is a bit of a responsibility thing. 
Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, because 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 some some people just take a risk and just. That's why I said it. jump ship. Some people just like. Right, and that's kind of an irresponsible thing, especially when it comes to business. It. You don't know yeah. what to expect, but you did research, so you kind of know what to expect. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. So, so I guess it's, it's safe to say you kind of went from musician to entrepreneurial, somewhat. You went from being a musician to. I guess, but as I as I as referring back to what I said earlier, I think most musicians, if I if I can say all, are entrepreneurs in a sense. I mean, I, even if they don't have a physical space, I think most of them gig around and play around and either they teach privately or whatever they do. So they're all kind of, even when we went to college, we were not necessarily taught an uh, entrepreneurship class, but we were yeah. taught plenty of pedagogy classes and yeah. plenty of finance classes and this and that and like all of these things that we can potentially grasp and take and present and use as a as a potentially a business owner or I, an entrepreneur but just I, I guess I'm, I'm saying you went from musician to entrepreneurial because of physically you have a bigger motor yeah you know so that kind of does put you on a different level compared to someone that's that's just gigging around different Correct. bars you know yeah. so not to insult or shame people that's doing that no but, not at all they make a lot of money right, actually right so but it, it does what well, just in my opinion it does kind of put you in a different bracket since you're running an actual physical you know store yeah. so it that's pretty it's a pretty big achievement and accomplishment i mean so. i think i think much more responsibilities come totally when you have your name on an address totally taxes and, and all that and, yeah. The IRS, who knows who you are, yes. and your business is um, is corp or whatever it is, <clears throat> and you have to present yourself and to the IRS and everywhere. So, it's a it's a little bit different and totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess uh, to finish off this, uh, this 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 episode again, I'm not trying to make this a lot a, a long you know overdue episode, but uh, I guess uh, did you speak? briefly on the future of the Sami music. Yo, All I can again, say is the future is bright. Not I, too I, much I'm, details, but you know. Well, no, no, I'm not, I'm not giving any details as far because we don't know anything at this time, right. but um, I have many, many goals. I have many, many dreams. I have many expectations. I, I, I'm, I dream big, 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 big. So eventually the goal is for us to to expand, to become much larger, mm -hmm. <laughs> to this become much, I know, she throws herself. Stole the show, as you can see. Um, uh, yep, stole the show. To um, expand, to be larger, to cater to uh, even more communities, to, to be something that Nobody ever has seen. Cool. Um, Interesting. To provide something for kids, to provide a, a safe place for kids and families to come and enjoy music and relax and take the time away to learn and explore. And there's so many new programs we are planning to do and so many new things we're going to want to approach. And mm -hmm. Uh, I want to I want to bring musicians from all over the world to do master classes and do all sorts of like things that I was exposed to. I want to expose people to. Considering we we live in South Florida and the classical community or the classical music, I would say communities, it's it's, it's existent, but not like if you go up north. Uh, so I want to kind of bring all of that. To Coral Springs or in this area. So I guess what can people expect in the future? Again, not so much details from this I mean, music. I mean, if I'm speaking like top, 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 like this is what I want to see eventually this I mean, music become, like mm. that's the end, like this I mean, music becomes this and this is like me achieving the goal, it will be like the, like a conservatory yeah. of music. Not necessarily a university, wow. that's not like my, I don't want to become a university, but like a school where Everybody is conservatory trained. Everybody studies, not by the age of 18, like for kids. Adults obviously can study as well, but 
uh, to become something that will be taken very serious and like I said musicians and people from all over the world can come nice. and, I mean conservatory as far as not just being music lessons but include everything that a conservatory includes or an art school includes I would wow. say it will be like uh, including visual arts classes and ballet lessons and um, all sorts of other dancing classes mm -hmm. and uh, having cool. a recording school studio or um, song or uh, singer songwriters kind of like a like an art school like a conservatory in a sense I got you. yeah yeah neat um yes that's awesome stuff for the public to expect or the but that's like the community that's like ooh, years and years and years yeah man um so i guess hope you're excited about the news that she just brought up you know for the future of the sound music sounds like awesome really cool things They're to literally make out <laughs> experience yeah they sold the show dude literally <laughs> yeah man so this is everything dope uh hope you enjoyed this episode again this is a short one not too long like i said before uh we we're still here posting just uh just in a busy busy uh year and a half obviously and um we'll be back posting more content promise we're not going anywhere Hopefully. but um soon yeah sooner um, than later yeah, cool. Uh, is there a way for them to, uh, I guess, follow or learn more updates about D Simon, like an email newsletter or Instagram or uh, We don't have a newsletter. We uh -huh. do have a website and we have social media. We're very big on social media. We post almost every day, especially on Instagram and Facebook. Um, that's you where it? you can find it. You Everything find it? is Instagram at D Simon Music, Facebook at D Simon Music. Um, you can find everything there, the way we teach. D-E-E, -E, Simon Music? D -E, yes. So, D as in doll, E-E, -E, Simon Music? Yes. Can't miss it on IG. No, you can't miss it, no. You're on Facebook also? Yes. Cool. We have a Facebook page as well, so you can find us there if you'd like. YouTube? Oh, this is YouTube. YouTube, yeah, this is YouTube. There you go. But those social platforms are, are I would say, the most active. Cool. So that's how they can stay up to date with D Simon. Yeah, good. with everything. Or if they ever have any questions or want to know more, they can always reach out. You can send an email. You can send a private message. You can text. You can call. We have. We try. We're very prompt with responsive. We respond as fast as we can. So. Excellent. Uh, future's looking bright for D Simon. Hopefully. And uh, we would love for you to tag along and um, be Simon part of the music. be be part of this journey. Obviously, and um. That's what was the that's what this video. Cool. This was fun. Yeah. Any last words? No. Thank you for watching. You have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Peace out.